What's going on, guys? This is AJ's Born One Three, and welcome back to another random video. Today, I'm going to be reading you guys a transcript or a script of an episode I made for Phineas and Ferb of the Finn Bell episode. But it's never going to get aired, so I'm making it just to see what you guys think of it. Also, before we begin, I want to try and get this video. This be the second video to over a thousand views because of my right hand vein video, my left hand vein video. One of my hand, hand vent moving in my vein. Vein to move a hand video to over 1,300 views. Thank you for that. So you were 85 subscribers, and today I'm gonna be, again, I'm going to be reading the script I made. I made it like a few days ago, and I got this all in my head. So I was looking at a picture of Isabella's hair. I was like, hmm, it would make a great elastic hair. Oh, a great superhero. I was like, wow. So anyways, I really hope you all enjoy it. And please, let's get, let's get this video to 1,000 views by Tuesday, October 2nd of this year. Here we go. So, the episode opens up with Isabel, with Vinny and Isabella, who are now dating and also the same age as they are in the sh were in the show, sitting under the big tree in the backyard behind Phineas and Ferb's house. Phineas and Isabella are talking about what to do today because Ferb is visiting his cousins in London and London, England, and Buford and Belgium are Irving's house. So, it, I'm going to be using the voice. So, my voice for Phineas is, so Isabel, what, what you want to, what you want to do today? I'm not sure, Phineas. <clears throat> there will be a lot of that. I'm not sure, Phineas. Do you have any ideas? That sounds terrible. Do you have any ideas? That's better. No, do you have any ideas of what we can do today? No, but let me think of something. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, let the brainstorming comments. As Isabella thinks of the idea of an activity to do with Phineas for the, for the day. Yes, this is one of those episodes, again, where they're spending a lot of time with each other since it's no picnic. A mysterious portal opens up in front of, of Phineas and Isabella. What's that, Phineas? <clears throat> Screw I'll just use regular voices. My regular voice. What's that, Phineas? I don't know. Let's find out. As Phineas and Isabella walk over to the portal, it begins to suck them in. So Phineas and Isabella head for the big tree. Hang on, Isabella. This is page seven. This is seven pages, by the way. There's a picture at the end. I'm trying my best. As the portal moves towards the tree, a giant hand appears out of the portal, grabs Phineas and Isabella, pulls them into the portal. Now, this hand actually, when it grabbed them, when it pulled them, the, the moment it pulled them in, it gave them superpowers. I didn't type that. I didn't want to put that. I wanted to give it a secret. So they got superpowers now. Phineas and Isabella get released by the giant ant with superpowers and are heading towards a town called Dreamsville. Where are we? I'm not sure. Let's find someone and, tell, and they'll tell us where we are. As Phineas and Isabella, and Isabella look for someone to tell them where they are, uh, they come across a person wearing a brown fedora, black office shoes, and a trench coat. He reveals, he reveals himself to Professor Williams. Why is he wearing this? Because he... Because he was trying not to get captured by, do, by an evil mastermind. We'll tell you later. Hello, Phineas and Isabella. Well, I'm Professor Williams, and welcome to Dreamsville with Only Good Dreams. If you're, yeah, you see it right there. How do you know our names? Wait, how uh, do you know our names? Uh, I've seen what you and your friends have been building, and your adventures are incredible. Thanks, Professor. Why are we brought here? After Isabella asked her question, Professor Williams pulls out a handheld machine with a screen showing an evil mastermind, Dr. Jackson Terrell in Dreamsville. See, that's the guy right there you don't want to mess with. That guy right there, my, my fingers point. That's the guy that he, he's right here with him. Yeah. Oh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, Do as you can see, Dr. Jackson's destroying Dreamsville. The only two people I can find were you two. You need to defeat Dr. Jackson. How? Like, how? We are not confused. We don't have superpowers, Professor Williams. As you, I'm not going to say like that anymore. As you enter Dreamsville, you gain permanent superpowers that you must keep a secret. If you tell anyone, and I mean anyone in your world about this, your power, or such powers, will be removed and you'll be, you'll be back to your normal selves. You two are known as the Superpowers. And then also his voice is heard from nowhere and reveals Isabel, Phineas and Isabel's superpowers in their costumes. This camera, the camera reveals Phineas wearing a brain helmet with a visor, red cap, blue boots, and a green helmet so that he can bring his auto invention in front of him, and Isabella wearing a golden headband with a gold star, a pink long sleeve superhero shirt, pink, uh, excuse me, purple gloves, purple V, but, fuck, purple V shaped elastic waistband, a yellow letter I in the middle of her, sh of her shirt, her regular black shirt that's now elastic, 
Well, lasted hair woman. Creative man. Lasted hair woman. Her normal pink bow, her pur purple boots with yellow stars, and a purple cape. So, four purple things. Four. Three plates. Okay. So, the Super Pals. Fighting crime together, all in love. Phineas is the super intelligence and creativity, and is about with her super elastic hair. Wrap, wrap anyone, add it, they're immovable. Spin anyone into, into a tornado, you'll be hitting that word. Spin it in a tornado, I didn't see that much times. Buy a weapon or air back to the earth. And really, anyone in with a, with a tornado spin or reeling in them by hand. If anyone in or in slash or anything is too heavy, she'd spun around in a tornado spin and wrapped around the, the person slash people or object. If anyone grabs onto her hair, they spin around and get, she can get spun around too. She also, she also has the ability of super sweetness. Yeah, that's a superpower she has the entire show. <laughs> wow, we look amazing. I know, excitedly. After Phineas and Isabel are getting the new superhero costumes. Oh, by the way, they they get to keep those costumes, but they do wear them at the end of the episode. So yeah, but they put them in the tree. I didn't put that, but I don't know what I said. I say they only have to wear them in the real in that world. That's it. Williams, but they do get to keep their superpowers forever. This is all town effects. Professor Williams assigns on their mission. To get to Dr. J All right, Phineas and Isabel, to get to Dr. Johnson, you must go to the Forest of Good Dreams. Next, you must head towards the River of River Good Hopes. Yes, I said hopes. It says hopes. Why? I don't fucking know. Okay. Finally, head towards the Dreamsville. Find Dr. Johnson's headquarters and defend him once and for all. Got it? Yep, you bet. Good, now bye. I'm going to continue my walk. Good luck, my trusty travelers. Bye, Professor. Thanks for everything we need to know. After Professor Williams walked away, Phineas and Isabel began their journey to defeat Dr. Jackson, and that's the end of Act 1, Intermission. Act 2, we open up with... We open back up with... After the intermission, we open back up with Phineas and Isabel walking down a dirt path. As Phineas and Isabel walk down the dirt path, they come across the Fourth of Good Dreams. What's like we made to the forest of good dreams? Hopefully no odds, even monstrosities. Yeah, I like that word. Monstrosities. Try come along, same here, Phineas. As they walk across through the forest of good dreams, the camera slowly backs up and reveals Dr. Jetson wearing a steel a suit of steel armor with dark gray gloves and black boots looking into a computer screen. Ah, I see that two newcomers have been sent out to stop me. I'm not gonna let this happen. Steven! Sam! Front and center! His two trusty minions, Stephen and Sam, run towards Doctor towards him, stand shoulder by shoulder, saluting them. Sir, yes, sir. What do you need? What do you need? I need you to descend an army of robotic beavers. <laughs> I said, I just chose beavers. I don't know why. Dang, no, I can't. To the port of the dreams. Boy. Sir, yes, sir. So, they, so Sam, Stephen, and Sam run to a big rock button. It says beaver army. They pre Stephen presses the button on have 10 robotic beavers. I have to be specific. It's set to the Forest of Good Dreams. The Strange and Isabel walk across the Forest of Good Dreams. I don't know why I said cross or whatever. The army of robotic beavers come storming into the forest and walk in a path. Robotic beavers! Hold on. Let's make this a fight. Let's make this fight. Uh, damn! Good one. Very funny, Phineas, hysterically. Phineas and Isabel start to fight the beavers. Phineas comes with the cannon and his mind comes with a cannon in his mind and uses the remote to bring in front of him. He takes on the first five beavers. Isabel her whips her last chair at the other five and they spin around until they explode. Amazing job, Isabel, flirtatiously. Thanks, Finny. Yeah, this is Finny. Not Phineas. Finny. After Phineas and Isabel defeat the beavers. I have another version, guys. I 
I did it right. Hold on, guys. What the fuck? I did it right. So after finishing his battle defeats the beavers, we see the camera bats and we see Dr. Jackson stare at the screen with his complete anger. Those darn kids destroyed by beavers. After high fiving each other, Phineas and Isabel hold hands and they continue their journey to Dreamville. And yes, that was a pretty short act too. I'm sorry. So yeah. Act three, the final act. After the intermission, we find, we open up with Dr. Judd and Andrew Stern as Pierce Green and Stephen and Stan, Sam Dan by his death. Darn those blasted children. That was be the beavers were blown up, and thank God they were not rentals. I must defeat these kids once and for all. Boy. Oh, Sprite. <laughs> Sir, maybe you should try sending the army of hobby robotic elephants. <laughs> Some of our broken hopes. Yeah, you should. Brilliant idea. You two are evil geniuses. Boy. Why didn't you come up with that? So he, Dr. Jackson pressed a big green button that said, Robotic Elephants. And in 20, double the last time, our Elephant Elephants are out to the, are sent out to the River Good Hopes. At this, as Phineas and Isabel are walking down the path, they come across the River Good Hopes. How do we cross the river? Confused. I can create a boat or a raft. Isabella. Great idea, Phineas. I made the creation come to us. Phineas uses his super intelligence and create a raft in his mind. The raft is fought in the water, and Isabel and Phineas and Isabel climb onto the raft. Okay. As they start, oh, crap, so bright, too bright. As they start across the river, the waterproof, oh, yeah, there's waterproof, by the way. Robotic elephants stand in the way. Try to buy elephants, let me take care of this. Isabel, what's your lot to carry around the legs of the one of the elephants? Unfortunately, she can't ruin the elephant. And she spins her up in a tornado, the first of two, around the elephant's leg. And now she is dizzy. And after she spins her up, she's dizzy and something is saved her. I'll tell you a little bit after. I'll save you, Izzy, and I'm going to create an anti waterproof Fuck! Proof? Anti waterproof remote. Phoenix is a super intelligent and great an anti waterproof remote. Points, he points at the, at the elephant, and a yellow beam shoots at the elephant, and they become anti waterproof. The elephants fall in the water and explode. Are you okay as well? Dizzy from the spin? Yes, I'm fine. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. Phineas and Isabel, as they continue to go across the river and turn into Dreamsville, Dr. Jackson, Stephen, and Sam start to appear with heavy faces. Those ki darn kids have followed that plan, too. They're close to Dreamsville anyway, boss. Yeah, besides, we didn't tackle one another when they arrived. All right, then. Prepare for a robotic battle. Get me my giant robot suit. Sir, yes, sir. So, Sam, Stephen and Sam... <clears throat> Calling the giant robot suit, robot suit for Dr. Jackson. Dr. Jackson is risen up by a harness in the robot in the shape of Dr. Jackson. Go figure. Dr. Jackson, St Sam, and Steven is head out to find Phineas, destroy the Phineas and Isabella. Isabella, look! Phineas and Isabella bravely look at the gigantic robot coming towards them. Phineas and Isabella, let's defeat this world once and for all. In Saint Dreamsville, and he just creates another cannon, another anti-water reproof remote, and another robot, and an army of robotic bulls. Isabel uses her wet her hair to wrap the robot, but unfortunately, Doctor Jackson presses a blue button. This is spin light and make the robot spin or well, spin around. And Isabel with take Isabel with them, the second one. She's getting dizzy, dizzily. Ah, uh, whoa. Oh, save me, Phineas. I'm coming, Isabel. She's being, she's spun around the leg now. She's very dizzy. Uh, Phineas uses his adventures and defeats a giant robot with Dr. Jet to Sam, Steven and Sam inside. Are you okay, Isabel? Very dizzy now. After she says this line, she'll be, it'll be done. Yes, I'm fine. I'm just, just a bit dizzy from the tornado spin. The mayor of Dreamsville, Mayor Stevenson, and the entire town of Dreamsville congrats Phineas and Isabel. Mayor Stevenson, thank you, Super Pals. Super pals for saving our town. You are hereby more than welcome to return here anytime and you can bring your friends with you. And St Mr. Mayor Stevenson, it was our pleasure. It was really nothing. It was nothing really. The mysterious, the mysterious portal from Act 1 opens up. Let's go home, Izzy. Holding Isabella's hand. Yeah, let's go home. Goodbye, super pals. <laughs> so, Phineas and Isabella head back home to the portal. And as they go through the portal, their costumes di disappear. Not their powers. 
As they arrive back home, they hop out of the portal and they sit by the big tree. Wow, what an amazing day today. That was the event of a lifetime, wasn't it? it yes, yeah, sure was. Do you think your mom has any snacks for us? Let's go see. Vince and Vince to keep their superpowers, kiss each other on the lips, and went inside Vince's house. And the cameras, the camera slowly backs away and goes black. And, and ladies and gentlemen, yeah, it's the end of Act 3 at the end, and there is a photo I found. Anyways, this has been the Super Pals with Phineas and Isabel. Well, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will, I want you guys to go in the comments right now down there in the comments if you want me to make more of these videos. And if not, whatever. If, if so, I will do another one. I'll make more Finnebell episodes like this. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Let's again, let's try to get this over a thousand views by Tuesday. Uh, in three months from today, Tuesday, October second. All right. Anyways, by five o'clock that day. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time for probably like a bottle flipping video or something. I don't know. Don't forget to check out my prediction video for the Broncos Falcons in preseason week one. Schedule predictions coming pretty soon. I'm probably going to have that either next week or in two weeks. I don't know. Thank you all so much for watching. You know what to do. It's down in the description below. I will see you all next time. Peace out.